Okay, it's time now to switch gears back to our regularly scheduled Daily Planet Animal Show. And just a warning, do not blink watching this first story or you might just miss one of the quickest moving tongues in the animal kingdom. They've got freaky eyes, bizarre feet, and their claim to fame, quirky color changes. They're different. I've always had an attraction to uh, kind of unusual animals. Unusual sums up a chameleon's looks, but downright crazy might be the best way to describe what's inside. Chameleons are able to feed at distances about twice that of their body length. So you have a chameleon that's about 30 inches total length. That means they're able to shoot their tongue out over two feet. Grabbing grub is an obvious advantage, but biologist Chris Anderson is trying to find out if a chameleon's tongue is more than just a meal ticket. In the wild, chameleons live over a very wide range of habitats. And basically, we're trying to determine why they're able to be active over such a wide range of temperatures. Chameleons thrive on scorching deserts and frigid mountaintops. The way they feed might be the reason why. All right, let's go inside. To find out, Chris enters a giant refrigerator. It's a brisk 15 degrees, and it replicates a chameleon's cold weather habitat. Later, he'll jack the heat in this environment chamber to simulate steamier conditions. As he chows down, Chris will capture the action on high-speed film. Our cameras are set uh, to film at 3,000 frames per second, and that requires an incredible amount of light. And unfortunately, one of the ways that chameleons uh, regulate their body temperature is by basking, by taking energy from light and uh, increasing their internal body temperature as a result of that. I'm very careful when I'm filming to make sure that the lights are off for as long as possible and I have to watch and when I see that the chameleon is starting to open its mouth and extend its tongue out, I immediately flip the light on. That uh, provides enough light for the camera to record the sequence and then as soon as the chameleon is finished, I turn the light off and then I use an infrared thermometer to record the temperature inside the mouth. This reading is crucial. It's to make sure the film lights haven't increased the chameleon's body temperature. And that's important because heat can affect how a lizard hunts. Most lizards run down their prey. With low temperatures, the velocity or the speed at which muscles can contract and basically the rate at which um, a lizard can run is highly decreased. Chameleons, on the other hand, they use um, tongue projection as their feeding mechanism. They're more of a sit and wait predator. And unlike other lizards, once a chameleon's tongue is actually on the move, there are no muscles propelling it forward. Chameleon tongue projection involves a, an elastic storage mechanism where collagen sheaths um, are used in sort of the same fashion as a rubber band. Energy is transferred into this elastic storage mechanism and then there's a sudden release of this energy. And the shooting the tongue out is a ballistic system and basically what that means is that all the energy in the system is imparted at the initial phase, you know, and then the rest of the trajectory is powered by inertia and the momentum. If you blink, you'll miss it. Even at 15 degrees, this tongue moves like a shot because it's using stored energy to fire forward. What are you doing? Yeah, I don't think he's gonna cooperate. It's time to let this guy digest. Chris pumps the temperature to 35 degrees so he can compare cold and hot trials. If temperature has no effect on how chameleons feed, the videos should look pretty darn similar. All right, now that it's saved, I'm gonna head up to the lab and analyze the video. So this is an image sequence from one of the videos we shot earlier. And the first step of analyzing the videos is um, digitizing the image sequence. And in doing that, I can calculate a few things, and one of those is the length of tongue projection. In addition to that, I start dotting the video frame by frame, and from those dots, I can calculate um, various performance uh, parameters, such as the velocity and acceleration. Velocity is the speed of the chameleon's tongue, and it's fast, five meters per second to be exact. Acceleration is how that speed changes as the tongue whizzes towards the cricket. 
Once we've digitized the image sequence, the computer gives us a series of graphs which depict the performance parameters. Chris compares performance from the cold and hot trials. Basically, um, they can project their tongue and they can feed and capture prey at a very wide range of temperatures without um, suffering from a significant decrease in um, their ability to capture prey. These results back his hunch. He's shown that whether it's 15 degrees or 35 degrees, tongue projection is still lightning fast. But when it's cold, Chris's study does reveal one drawback. Now, the interesting thing is, is the retraction of the tongue. In this case, it is completely muscle-based power, and the rate at which the muscles are going to contract is going to be heavily defected by temperature, and that's pretty much what we're finding. The colder it gets, the slower the tongue curls back in. That's because this part does rely on muscle power. But eventually, the food does go down, proving that chameleons can feed and therefore live just about anywhere.